So this guy, this is a video going around. This guy, uh, Politics Joe from the UK, eh? So he decided to interview people in the UK and, and he would uh, tell them, uh, here's a medical service in the United States. How much do you think it costs? And then they would guess and then he would tell them and then they would go like that. They would go, what? So let's play it. Let's watch this, right? 10 grand for a baby. Is there a price for that? Yes. Jeez, a um, hundred dollars, two hundred dollars? Two and a half grand. Ambulance call out, how much do you think that costs? Zero payment. Zero payment? Yeah, zero payment. No. <laughs> it costs two and a half thousand dollars. For, for real? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> you look, you look. <laughs> An inhaler. A hundred dollars. Yeah, you're pretty close, it's a bit more. 120. 250 to 350. For an inhaler? Mm. Yes. Man, so if you're poor, you're dead. I know that it's like public health care in the UK. In the U.S., fortunately, I'm able to get health care through my parents, their jobs, but, like, I carry an EpiPen, and I know that, like, the cost of that has just been rising. Mm -hmm. So, like, there's, like, very few companies that even compete, so it's sort of like a monopoly for the EpiPen. Um, even though, like, we have insurance, it costs my parents about a couple hundred, even with insurance. So, two EpiPens, okay. how much do you reckon they are? $80. 600 $40? I'm afraid not. More? More. Hundred dollars. More. Hundred and fifty. More. Two fifty. More. Sh shut the fridge. More. <laughs> Three hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. What? Why? That's a very good question. Six hundred dollars. Yeah. We can tell you why, actually. I can tell you why. Yeah, we can For answer. For me, that. it's more like just hives and shortness of breath. So it wouldn't be like an immediate death situation, but like, so I've been fortunate I've not had to use it, wow. but it's something like keep on me. Like I have my backpack right now, I have it on me. Cost of childbirth. Jesus. Um, 50 grand, something ridiculous now. Yeah, see, I've, I've, blown, I've blown the figures up in your head now, haven't yeah, I? Because yeah, yeah. they're larger. It's, the highest, generally speaking, is about 30 grand. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, wait, I oh, see. Is that reasonable? You haven't It's not that. reasonable at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like now we're on, like a, we're on yeah, a benchmark. Yeah, we're on a 100, 200? Dollars. Uh, the average is about 10 grand. It can go up to 30,000. 10 grand? For a baby? <laughs> yeah, well, I guess. How much is your child worth? Uh, yeah. yeah what, but that's is that like point. the same everywhere? Yeah, the average is about $10,000, yeah. That's mad. Mm. Oh, no thanks. <laughs> um, okay, no thanks. In which case, the coil, IUD, contraception, okay. yeah. how much do you think that costs? For one person yeah. to implant... A grand? Yeah, a little bit higher. Really? Yeah, one thousand three hundred dollars. Oh! It even made the video pause. That's how much. It <laughs> Mental. I wonder if you could tell me how expensive you think calling an ambulance out to your location is in America. I guess it depends on like where you live. <laughs> uh, it really does. Um, I can't even, is there a price for that? Yes. Oh. Jeez. A um, hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Two and a half grand. For what? Why? Why? <laughs> Give birth by C-section, yeah. and you would like to hold your baby after you've given birth to it. Naturally, yeah, that's what you do. <laughs> yeah. You have to pay to do that? Yes. <gasps> to hold my own child that I've been carrying inside of my womb. <laughs> Say something else. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was. <laughs> uh, but yes, yes. Jeez. <sighs> it's not actually that expensive. Right. <laughs> Charging me. I'm going to punch you. Yeah. Um, not you, but yeah. the doctor. Um, like $100. $40. $40. For skin on skin contact. <laughs> what do you think of the NHS? Literally, the gift that keeps on giving. Literally. Literally. People are so dumb for taking advantage of it. Mm. And I don't want it to change. Finally, does it make you grateful for the NHS? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I didn't know how much uh, free healthcare we got, like, just off the bat, but, like, you know, you have to pay, like, 30 grand for a child. It's outrageous. It really is ridiculous. So, thank you, NHS, um, for your hard work. I'm genuinely speechless. Presumably, you had an idea that it, healthcare was expensive in the US. I didn't realise how expensive. Yeah, I'm just like, what? Like, if you don't have money, you're... Yes, if you don't have money, you're fudged. Mm-hmm. If you don't have money, you're fudged. That's America. It's a great system. 
And I, I think all this spawned because I'm 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 pretty sure it was the Tories. They they brought up the idea of like, oh, we're gonna make our healthcare system more like, like America. And they're, like, uh. and they're like, okay, here's how that works. And everyone's <laughs> like, oh no no no, we don't want to do that. Can you imagine wanting to to adopt America's healthcare system? Can you imagine that going from where. Everything's covered no matter what. You get a doctor, you get everything taken up, nobody goes bankrupt to you don't get coverage, you can't afford it, people you get denied coverage, you have to pay out of your everybody goes bankrupt when they get sick. I don't know anybody who if they get seriously sick don't have financial problems. Yeah. Right? People, I mean, it's one of those things. The only people for it are like the parties that are, you know, the political mm -hmm. parties that are involved with, you know, the oligarchs and, you know, capitalist over there who want to you know exploit this stuff they're like oh look at because they, they they see the people exploiting it and they, they they see big pharma and stuff like that and they're like oh yeah. we should get a piece of that <laughs> and then the people hear it and they're like no are you nuts no i can't even so i just want to let so people don't realize this in the united states someone like bernie sanders uh who's advocating for medicare for all As a poli on the political spectrum in the world, he's here. He's not to the left. He's that I'm over here. Bernie's over here. Like that's just taken for granted everywhere else in the Western world that everyone gets health care and you don't and it's not expensive out of pocket at the at the uh, point of purchase at at the point of delivery. That that. They that just it, it doesn't even enter there like this. Do you see the people? They're like what? Like, no one in the United States would be like, yeah, that's what an EpiPen costs. That's what an ambulance ride costs. That's what, yep, yep, yep. And hopefully you get your insurance company to pay for some of that because they're not going to pay for all of it. Yeah, I mean, people react like it's just the most ridiculous. Because it is ridiculous when you really, I mean, our system is beyond ridiculous. And when you talk, I mean, we were, Graham and I were just in Australia. And so, so how did you ask people how their health care is in Australia? Because, well, just let me ask you that. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, they, they have the single payer model and, and they were talking about it and they've expressed some concerns that some of their politicians are similar to what's going on in England. Some of their politicians are talking about taking it more in our direction. Their conservative party in Australia is ironically called the Liberal Party because it just refers to neoliberal. So their conservative party is actually called the Liberal Party in, in, uh, in Australia. And they were saying, you know, some people in that party want to take it more in the direction of the United States, which a lot of, you know, a lot of Australians, at least the ones that were showing up to our shows, are very concerned about. So it is a, so it is a single payer system, mm -hmm. but you can also buy insurance above what it covers. Yeah, like I think there's some supplemental things and yes. stuff like that. Come see our live show. We're going to be in Honolulu on December 27th. We'll be in Portland, Oregon, and then we go to Tempe, Arizona, San Jose, California, Sacramento, Miami. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all the tickets for all our live shows coming to a town near you and become a patron or support the Jimmy Dore Show. We give you hours of bonus material every week. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com. Become a premium member. Thanks for your support.